Welcome to Building an Alternative to RDL, a Genius or Madness. Hey, I'm Eric. And when it comes to reports, especially layout reports with Business Central, we have a lot of options. Um, some might say that we have not very good options, but we do have some options. Uh, we have a, a set of data-driven options like Excel layouts, where basically it's not really a layout because you just get all your data in, into an Excel sheet and then you do the layout. Uh, we have XML output and, and so on. But if we want to put something on paper, we are kind of a um, very limited choice. We, we, can, uh, we can do word layouts and word layouts are great because you can do word layouts just by using Word. Word layouts are not that great because there are lots of stuff you cannot do in word layouts, and um, you're 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 very limited in in what options you have. And and the last choice and quite often the least popular choice are RDL reporting, uh, based off the the SQL Server reporting services stuff and and so on. Um, not this is my version of the history and 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 your mileage may vary uh, but we actually had a great reporting tool in 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 the vision um, then the microsoft thing happened and uh, we still had that one but when it came about to create for microsoft to create reporting for the role teller client um, SSRS or RDL reports became the tool. Uh, and it's a very detached process uh, and, and nothing really happens on RDL. We have report writer version, report builder version three. And, and we can see that from Microsoft, they haven't really done a new RDL report in, in, in years, uh, there may be one or two that I have missed, but but now they are pushing Excel reports, uh, Excel layouts very hard. Um, but long story short, um, I was at a uh, at a round table without any tables, uh, at direction about um, about reporting, and uh, you know a lot of people express different opinions on on we should get something better than RDL. Uh, we should get Word to do all the things that Word cannot do, like uh, conditional formatting, uh, conditional sections, and calculations, and all that good stuff. Um, but I kind of left that meeting, uh, which was a great, great session. Uh, I, I left that thinking, maybe that's not a way. Uh, and the, what got me thinking was that I had spent a bit of time that's earlier this, this fall uh, goofing around with some HTML formatting, more specifically CSS formatting, more, more specifically flex containers or flex boxes. Uh, and, and the way that you know web pages can stack and rearrange and stuff like that. And it kind of got me thinking that hang on, what if what if we approach a report layout more like a web page, actually like a web page, uh, uh, where you know everything was a box uh, and and they were stacked together and that became becomes a page and a report, and there are uh, specific uh, CSS. Uh, for, for print also. Um, so couldn't you just build a, a, a report engine with HTML? And couldn't you just almost like build that inside AL? Um, so I that, that thing kept bouncing around in, uh, inside my head and I said, hmm. Let's try it out. And um, so I did. So here's my little weekend project. Uh, let me let me let me show this. 
uh, all uh, all sorts of uh, um, disclaimers here. What you're seeing is nothing. What you're seeing is me emptying my head of how could you do something like this? Uh, I have no idea what this will become, if it will become anything. Maybe it's just an idea. Maybe it's something that will grow into the Simplopic Designer. Maybe it's something that will, I don't know. Anyway, but I do I do know that I would love your comments on, on this. Uh, and, 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 you know, feel free to express if you think this is utterly madness or if this is crap or this is stupid. Um, um yeah anyway so the screen we're on right now is and, and right now i don't even have a name for this so right now it's kind of called flex report uh because the flex box thing kept um uh, uh being in my head but um so here is i have created a layout so so let me just you just run this first uh just show you the state that it's in right now and then I'll, I'll talk about how this is this is built so sales invoice i have created a new layout for this one uh, so if i say print test repo layout is, is test we print um, and we get an invoice on screen we actually i think we get two invoices on screen uh, and we can see here that the invoice had, you know, there's stuff that there's even a logo. Uh, uh, there's some head, head of thing, there are lines, and there's a total. Uh, and clearly it's missing some information on sales tax because numbers does not add up here. Um, but we don't worry about that. Um, so, well, that's a report. Um, and we even get it downloaded. So uh, let, let me show you how this is built. So the what we can see here is that there's a layout, and ignore the page height thing. That is uh, something I, I'm. I'll explain in a second. Um, the layout has a template connected. Um, and if you're going to templates, you can see I only have one template. I click on edit template and we can see that the template is an HTML document. Uh, and there was basically only two things in this HTML document. There is a, a style section where I have defined a, a, a style sheet. Um, and there is a body section where it just says percentage body percentage. Um, and, and we can see here that a page is a flex container. Um, and, and we flex downwards. Um, close our saving, sure. Um, so if I go in, so okay, let's uh, let's let's edit this layout. Then we can see that now there are um, sections. I think I'm not, I'm not sure what to call this. Uh, there's a header, the line, 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 and there's total. So what are these? Well, these are. So the first time you go in, you actually say learn report and learn report will print the report and, and figure out what data elements are there, what columns are there, what how what what is the structure of the report. Um, and after that you can uh, you can you can use all the elements that are in the report, in the data set of the report. In this case I have built my report saying okay I want to use the header. Then I want a, and this should be a header layout wise. And in the, so the intention comes automatically from the data set as, as you choose your elements, they are, they are shuffled into the right position. So for the header, I just want a header for the line. I want what now is known, I call it normal. That might not be the 
best term, but but that's a regular box. Then also for line, I also want another header, and for line, I want a transport header and a transport footer. Uh, it's like for running total. Um, so depending on if you have more lines than can fill a page, then you should at the end of a page that is gonna overflow. You're putting the running total, total so far, and then on top of next page, you say total from previous page, and then, then at some point you have a, a, a total section, and uh, and that is a, is a footer. So how does an a, a, a element uh, how does that look? Well, if I click edit, and now I'm on the line on on the normal section, I click edit. edit edit element and we can see here that i have a what you see is what you get editor and this defines a uh, a table with five cells um i can switch over here and say okay i would rather edit this in as uh, html instead uh, if i prefer that uh i can go back here um if I want to add something, I would I would say add column. So now we, it shows me all the, the the columns that are in all the fields. Maybe it's not add column that it might actually be. That's because that's what it's known in the data set, but it might be be the wrong from a user perspective. But these are the fields that exist in line. And part of the, when you click learn, it will also tell, hey, these are, you know, here is the data that are actually in this field. Um, so, so it's easy to see you know, what, what's in it. Um, and that one will insert it in, into this one. Um, let's say that we want the, let's see. So now I'm doing stuff, I don't know if it works or not. Let's see that I want the, um, the item name to be bold. So I do that. So I save the sex section, uh, the element. I go out and say it says report, print, and I, 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 this is now bold. So that did work. We can see if I go, let's look at the header for the line. The header for the line is, is kind of the same thing, but that's item number description. Maybe we want that bold too, and the amount uh, bold. Uh, we save that, we exit, we can test straight away. It's super, super fast to test. Um, um, and, and that is kind of the what it is. So these things, so header line totals, you can see that they actually become, if I go back and look at my template here, um, we can see that they become classes. So dot header, dot line, dot totals. Um, they're also probably gonna be a, a other, other names that you can uh, have a generic, uh, section somehow um, but but that's kind of the idea be, be, between the template and and the data set that what you have in the data set become classes CSS classes and then you can you can style them as, as you like um, and and the page is the flexbox so if we go back and then let's do this again it says print print and I open this guy up and say, okay, let's take a look at this. So we can see that here is, actually it's probably easier just to see on, on, the, on the tool tip that we can see that this is div header. This is a div line, a div line, div line, div totals. Uh, so, so, so the idea is that we 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 get kind of just piggybacking on 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 HTML uh, and and 
and, and build that. And, and with this, we can, we can do pixel perfect if we want to. Uh, we can also do relative uh, positioning. I think if I make this wide, I have relative position. So now you see the, the invoice is getting, getting wider. Um, but you can do whatever you want. This is just, just HTML. So how did I build this? Let's, uh, let's jump into VS code. Um, oh, we're actually running on a debugger. So let's, uh, let's start somewhere. Um, let's start somewhere. Uh, <laughs> so most of this is just, you know, straight. This is a table. Um, I'm using, if you look at, at the edit template, you can see that it kind of looks like just how the, the toolbox you're using. So I'm using ACE, the, the text editor called ACE. Uh, I think there's a video on that one actually. Um, for the uh, for the what you see is what you you get kind of stuff. Um, right now I'm using a CK editor. Uh, there's also a video on, on on how to use that one. Um, and and the idea is simple. I don't know if it's simple. Um, but you on on there's a code tune called report management inside that one there's on custom document merger ex and in this one we can uh, we can in, in intercept the uh, uh, you can intercept when when printing a report so so the way it works is that we get the data set then we start looping through the data set uh, and and we wanna whenever we meet a data element, we figure out if we need to if we need to uh, to render it or not. So we have a render data data item uh, that knows about how to render headers and transport headers and the normal section and if there are child sections beneath that need to be rendered and if the transport is working and the size calculation. So the paper paper height. Uh, thing on 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 the um, on the layout is is right now in order the the feel I ignored at the beginning is for figuring out when transport should be done or not uh, rendering footers um, and and that's kind of that's actually just recursive so so it will it will call itself at some point. Uh, if there are sub elements, then it's all aggregated into because everything is just a div, a box of in 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 the, in the flex design. So you just get added to it, um, and eventually they're just added together in in different stacks. So at 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 some point you can uh, you can header normal stuff, total stuff, footers. Um, and then they're all aggregated together uh, as a um, as an HTML page. What's interesting? I don't know if that 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 that's pretty much it. Um, so in all the 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 fancy code unit with with stuff is you no know, five hundred and forty five. Well, I can. 543 lines of code uh, and also contains some comment out Microsoft stuff me trying to figure out how the, the that event worked the learn stuff and extract information um, and there's tons of stuff that does not work yet um, and and one of the things that I quickly, when I was building the, this invoice, you know, annoyed me already was that I had to edit, uh, you know, this section separately from from that section. Uh, CK editor has like where you can build one dot big document, so you can only edit once right now. So, so I was actually thinking that maybe some page where you click on the element and then it switches to that so you can you can work up and down in uh, in, in in the layout and, and work this so 
one thing that you so right now everything you see it's all AL, right? It, it's it's uh, it's just AL, and one of the things that we cannot do in proper pure AL is convert HTML, render that to like a PDF or Word document or things like that. Uh, so that is why when I when I do print, you know, I I intercept this and then I render it on screen just because that's that's easy. Because right now we cannot convert it into PDF uh, the, the normal way without having some sort of external service that I, uh, I, I send the HTML to and then I get um, I get the PDF back um, but that would that would be needed I there are ways to do this in in JavaScript but that's probably not a good way to do it anyway uh back to the question uh in 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 the in the title of the video is this uh what is this uh i have uh, to be honest I, th this project right now is me entering my head of what i thought huh i wonder if uh i i wonder if i could Actually, we should just add. Uh, now I'm getting annoyed that there's no text uh, shown on that one. So, how about we just edit the report and uh, uh, right, insert row above tax amount? And then we go and there's an add column, and then we need to figure out the tax amount. That's probably total VAT amount that we want. So let's grab that one. Um, and I'm sure that we want the this one to be aligned that way. And then total should totally be bold. We save that, we exit, we click test report, we print. And now we have the tax amount. Oh, you can't see it. There you go, there it is. That's nice, isn't it? I I I kind of I kind of dig this. Uh, anyway, sorry, I'm I'm just smiling because we actually went through the whole video without something completely blowing up, and uh, and this is Sunday night and Saturday morning. There were just a few lines of the the basic tables for this, so it was it was. Between me putting up Christmas lights and uh, and writing a bit of code, this is uh, this is was a weird little uh, weekend project. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, should I just bury this under the under the mountain here, or yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Uh, and then after you have you done putting it in a comment, you know, check out this one. There's probably more ale hacking in here, so go check it out. It's a good one. I'll see you there.